fiance. Wow. 10 years. I am so incredibly happy to salute you on this special occasion. It was here in Paris where we were first introduced to each other. Do you remember? It was backstage in April 2013 when I was in Paris to perform at Bercy. But of course, we had both known about each other long before that night. Obviously, we had all heard the news about you when you were first named the Balmain Creative Director position. And oh my God, you were just a kid, 25 years old, when they announced that you would be heading up the collection at the House of Balmain, or how we say in Houston, the House of Balmain. <laughs> but of course, it wasn't just your youth that made you such a surprising and bold choice. Before then, before you, it seems like the powers that be had a very hard time imagining that someone who looked like you could head up all the collections at a historical Parisian couture house. So yes, it was a moment, a beautiful, long-delayed moment, something to cherish. And once you made it through that door, you made sure that it did not shut behind you. No. For 10 years, you've been determined to keep pushing that door open, wider and wider, making sure that others can also get new opportunities and reach new dreams. And the best part is, nobody needed to remind you or persuade you to do what's right. You knew from day one that you had the singular power to help push for a new mindset, to help persuade fashion to finally begin to reflect the real, true beauty of today's streets. The beauty that you and your team see daily on the diverse, impressive boulevards and avenues of your beloved Paris. And from day one, you did the right thing. You knew from the start that actions speak so much louder than words. So you've taken the stand.